if you didn't get up early to see the moon's rare triple threat, don't worry because meteorologist Ed Curran did. He is live at the Adler Planetarium with the Mobile Weather Lab. Ed? You know I did. I mean, after talking about it for weeks, I had to get up early along with many of you to see the super blue blood moon. No eclipse can be super if clouds are in the way, and that was our challenge in Chicago. But a satellite view of clearing clouds gave us hope. This view from the western burb shows how Chicagoans played a cat and mouse game with the supermoon eclipse, and Chopper 2 even got a bird's eye view. But to really get a good look, you had to go west. Not to the Burbs, but to Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. We've sped up their view of the eclipse just so you can tell your friends you saw the whole thing, including the blood red part of totality. From the moon, sunlight streaming through our Earth's atmosphere lights the lunar surface with all the sunrises and sunsets on our planet at the same time. The LA Observatory had its own obstruction near the end of totality, not clouds, but a mountain. For many here in Chicago, our eclipse faded into clouds at the horizon right around the time of totality. Now, if you missed it, the next supermoon lunar eclipse is less than a year away. On January 20th, a Sunday night at totality at 10.30 p.m., we'll hope for clear skies for that one. Right now at Adler Planetarium, it's a balmy 42 degrees with a wind of 15 miles an hour. At the Planetarium, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Mm, yeah, I, got, I got up at totality and it was already down. Oh, and you I was looking it. western sky. Well, that 10.31, this next one, we'll have a better shot at I seeing so. it. I hope so. I hope so.